You all right? What's it to you? Well, you don't have to understand. Just tell him that Miranda sends her best. Right. Well, Jax's dead wife sends her regards. Did she come from Australia? She's in the hallway. So, Miranda's back. I think it's time for you to leave, Mike. Am I being dismissed? Uh, I got business with Jason. Ah. So, are you going to think about what I said? Yeah, think about it. Does that mean you're going to think about it, or you're going to think about thinking about it? Uh, that means I'm going to, uh, see you later, Mike. What was that all about? He's a bartender, you know? He's not happy unless he's poking his nose into other people's business. What'd you bring me? I don't know, some suit. Ah, uh, you are the wrong person to ask your clothes. Well, do you need me for anything else? Yeah. Uh, I need you to find this woman. Is she the one who set you up? I think so. Uh, she's... I'm pretty sure she's a nurse. Here? Mm, I don't think so. Try Mercy. Do you have any idea what this is all about? No, but I don't think it was a competition because they would have come into Luke's with guns blazing. I think it's about something else. Such as? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out, you know? What I don't like is that they know about me and Brenda. Yeah, it could be we're making people nervous with all the questions we've been asking about the drugs coming into town, too. No, uh, this is too subtle for a drug dealer. I think there's a, a mystery player in here somewhere. How do you want to handle it? Find that nurse, she'll give us what we want. Jason? Gotta go. Now? Yeah. I need you to cover this meeting for me. What about you? Uh, nurse says uh, I'm free to go. So I'm going to get dressed, get out of here. I got my uh, man outside with his ego eye on me. So uh, you go take care of business. All right. All right. Uh, smell this, huh? Wait, Mike, Mike, wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's not you and it's not Robin that can wait. Hey, will you quit stalling? Come on. What do I need a tree for, Mike? What? One day, what's the point? God, look at the size of this one. This is not going to fit in the elevator. Look, you can keep it up through New Year's. You can keep it up through Easter. All I know is the four of us are decorating a tree tonight. Every other place in town is either closed or sold yeah. out. OK, right. OK, good, good, because I want this one right here. Dad, can we get this, too? But Tommy, we already have a tree. And hey, uh, I, I, I did see it first. Oh, wait a minute. Rule of thumb is Christmas tree has to be bigger than you are, Sonny. But Grandpa doesn't have one. What? If we put this one in his office, can he see it up in heaven? Sure he can. Everybody in heaven's got x-ray vision. Shame on you. Yeah. Tell me your, your grandfather would probably like that a lot. And hey, you know what? My old man, he, he won't let me get it anyway. Okay, I'll throw in the tree for all the angels and the saints. Jose, will you help these gentlemen even if they don't know what they want? You need lights, ornaments, Santa Claus hats? It's fine. This one's fine. All right. Wait a minute. It's, it's, but it's not symmetrical stuff. Mike, you won't go for a fake tree, but then you want something that looks fake. Well, what is it you want? Well, you need it's easier to vacuum them up. Four beetles last summer, two weeks ago, up like a torch. Fantastic. How much? How much is it? Maria. Maria. A hundred? And 50. <laughs> oh, fine, you mean 50. 50 bucks, right? Right. That's 100. <laughs> That's highway robbery. 60 bucks tops. Ever hear of supply and demand? I got the supplies, I make the demands. You ever hear of the Better Business Bureau? Mike, put a, put a sock in it. Come, come on. What are you, you're ah! scalped here. Ah. I mean, come on, uh, look, look what she's pulling now. I mean, this is a con artist. What are you, jealous of being pregnant, the only con you never pulled? Can we just leave here, please? No. Did I hear what you just... Did I hear right what you said? An hour ago. Your water broke? Yes.
my car's out front. Right. Last time, it was eight hours before I went into labor. I, th I think we're talking more like eight minutes now. Okay, everybody, closing time. No, we are not closing. What are they going to tell me to do at the hospital? To breathe? I could breathe here. Mira. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you want to take a chance with your baby? Because I got two others I don't want to be taking chances with. We work hard for this. This is our one day where we can make some real money all year long. Him at the gas station, me at the lunch counter. We save for this. We work hard. Jose, díjale. Maria, I don't, I don't think you have much choice, OK? OK, I'll go. But you stay. No, no, I'm not staying. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to stay. I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell Christmas trees. Me and Joseph will, will bring you your take at the hospital later. Like I'm going to trust this vato with, with our money? Oh, your old man. What about him? The price list. There's the price list. Okay. Cash box is over there. Right. Just padlock the gate when you're done. Let's go. Come on. OK, I, I can walk. That's your car. Oh, I'm gonna like writing in that. Hey, Jose, Jose, what'd you say to her? Oh, it's okay, man. We're cool. You cool? Yeah, we voted for domestic partners. You know, my cousin Victor drove Liza Minnelli to the airport one time. Hurry hey, up. Maria! Oh. Okay, you know, uh, you three I can understand, but me? Mike, could you just get him uh, to the hospital and, and through admitting and all that, please? Yeah, I'm fine. Stay. Joseph's with me. Make sure he doesn't make him a deal to deliver the baby. Yeah, all right. All right, we'll, we'll take care. All right, all right, all right. Now, there's a couple of things you need to remember about the retail business, all right? First of all, courtesy is very important. You treat every customer like it was your mother, all right? Second of all, they're all thieves. Come over here, come over here. Give me what you got in your pockets. All right. Do you know that stealing is wrong? Hmm? Plus, you know, these aren't even good for you. They're not even all chocolate. They, they, they're hollow. How much money you got? 45 cents. Give me a quarter. Smack! Go! Oh! <gasps> See how I handle that? Oh, yeah, you're good. Okay, now, we have a lot of time. So let's just move. Oh, it's perfect. This is the most perfect well, thing I've ever seen. There's nothing yet. It's called a tree. Like, I don't need to see anyone. That's it. Speaking of thieves, Corinthos. Merry Christmas. How can we help you? Now, where's the proprietor? We are here to serve your Yuletide needs. Good Lord, you've added Christmas to your roster of criminal enterprises. Or is this just a, a, a front for something? Edward, we don't care. We need a tree, and we need it now. Oh, all right. Uh, is, is Jason around? Ah, uh, you just you just missed him. Well, grandfather, what? this is the one right here. Look at it. Well, check it for explosives. Uh, <laughs> Sonny? <laughs> ho, ho, ho to you, too, there, counselor. Oh, it's made my day. What did you have? Uh, I'm gonna have to check on my list here because it, it might be reserved. Well, unreserve it. Now this is for the pediatric ward at the hospital, and my money is just as good as anybody. Edward, else. just write a check and let's get out of here. AJ, just, just, just tell me how it's done, Eddie. All right, you know. Get into the car. Yeah. Dark day when I ever thought I'd be writing a check to you. Uh, could you make that out to cash, and uh, could you give me your picture ID, please? Careful. All right. How much? Uh, for you, uh, I'd say about 5,000 bucks. Don't be ridiculous, Corinthos. What are you doing, smuggling diamonds in it? Well, I'm just working here, you know, but, you know, if you want to bargain tomorrow, it'll be cheaper. Jason! Doesn't take much longer to walk here from the hospital than the call. What were you doing at the hospital? Nah, it's a long story. Page me. I know it was a while ago. Yeah, well, it wasn't an emergency or anything. I just wanted to give this to you. For what? For Christmas, <laughs> you dork. Because you and Tony are about the only people I know who wouldn't burn a Christmas present from me. Well, it's not much, so... Don't be expecting a whole great big spectacular... Oh, got it. Oh, that's a key ring. Yeah, well, I know you have at least two keys, right? One to your bike and one to your apartment, and... I just thought it wasn't so personal that Robin would get mad. Carly, she's not mad at you. So what are you guys doing for Christmas? 
Well, I have to call her at midnight. She didn't make it home. That must be rough. Yeah. Tony's spending Christmas with Lucas, which is great. I mean, I want him to, but no girlfriends are allowed. We could, we could do something tomorrow. We could go watch people skate. You could buy me a hot chocolate. <laughs> really? That sounds perfect. Yeah. You know, I, I tried to go Christmas shopping. It was really loud, like a really loud bar in the mall. Gave me a headache. That's okay, Jason. I'm sure there are people besides myself who only want to see you walk through the door. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Whereas all I can think of are people who would slam it in my face. <laughs> it's all right. I'll live. Tony will be home soon. But? But it's stupid, and I mean, it's my own fault, but I miss my mother. Think they'll approve? Well, if they don't, too bad. Merry Christmas, Jason. Oh. Christmas. Reggie, what did I tell you? I, I asked her why she uh, let Mr. Q go on without her. He'd keep me locked up all winter if he could. She said she wanted to stay here in case an angel paid a visit. Oh, oh, that's just grandmother talk. Pay no attention. Here's your peppermints. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. They're not stolen this year. Well, the stolen ones were delicious. Come closer. Closer. Oh, you are so handsome. Oh. Let me see your teeth. Do you still go to the dentist? Now, give me your hand. You always make me feel like I've, I've been to a doctor or something. At my age, the things that people seem to take seriously hardly seem real. Your hand seems real. And the, the cold on your cheek seems real. Merry Christmas, Lila. Thank you, darling. Oh, I've got something I want to show you. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Now, can you fix it? It's, it's just a messed up piece of paper. You see, it's in the form of a dove, but somehow it got damaged. The, the tree looks fine without it. Not your mother. She has so few things of yours, Jason. It may seem silly to you and to me, but they are how she keeps you in her heart when she knows she can't have you. I, I don't know how to fix it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Merry Christmas. Uh, I wanted to say it first. <sighs> now it feels like Christmas. Well, it really is. You know, I got a watch now. Yeah, Sonny's watch. He showed me. Next thing I know, you're gonna have an electric toothbrush, and then I'm not even gonna know who you are when I see you. Yeah, you'll know me. I'll be... I'll be the guy who can't think of anything to say. Why am I here in this stupid hotel room? I'm sick of being the HIV poster girl. Oh, Robin, it's important. So, uh, what'd you have for breakfast? Um, cereal and some yogurt. Okay. What'd you have for lunch? Soup and some bread. Good. Dinner. No, I'm not losing weight. Oh, hey, who's, uh, who's Liza Minnelli and why should I care how she got to the airport? 